Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. You know, yesterday's video after I made it and I was watching myself in the replay, I looked tired again, which I was. I think I may have mentioned that stringing the beads on the thread was very tiring, which it was. And after I showed you what I had strung, guess what I did? I took them all off. Yeah, because I decided I didn't like that combination of colors. And um, I was trying and trying and trying to crochet it. And it wasn't working. And then, so I would undo and redo, undo and redo. So then I decided to go with a different color. And that took me a long time. And then the same thing was happening. I would crochet a little bit and it looked really bad. So then I would undo. And then I would do it up again. And I must have done that a good 15 times. But look what I did. I actually made it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty perfect for me. The thing that I noticed was um, the longer I went on, longer I was doing it, the better I was getting. Because where I was first starting, it's, oh, it's okay. But what you do is you just slide it on your hand. And there you go. I have a bracelet. Woo -woo. <laughs> so good and I didn't need all those beads I still have I still have, I have to count them because I don't know how many I have left over I I can't connect them because I've got a knot in it now but this is what was left over so I just have to count them to see because I did load 600 beads on and um, I'll have to see how many are left and that will tell me how many I would need for my bracelet and this one actually could have been a little smaller I made it I think seven inches and I could make it I could make it six inches because my wrist is really only about six so I could make it an inch smaller but I I left it this size it will fit anybody's wrist even mine did you so, do 600 of each color or 600 total no we um 600 no 100 of each color so it was okay. six 600 six beads there was three colors. I used three colors in this one. There was six colors, but I didn't like it with the six colors. So I took them out and I ended up doing it with just three colors. I just used the um, kind of a reddish blue and a black. And I really should have had a black string because then you wouldn't be able to even see where I kind of wasn't crocheting the best. It's not real easy, that I will tell you. But I will link the video to where I learned how to do this because I'm not doing this online. It, the longer you did it, the easier it got. And I started out with, I'll show you the hook I started out with. I started out with this hook. Then I went to this hook, which is really small. It's a lot smaller, but it needed to be smaller because this one was making it too gappy. This one, and every now and then I would loop and it would pull off and I'd think, oh. And then you have to find it and it's like looking for... If you have a flower that has, it makes me think of a horror movie. <laughs> Where the flower is opened up and if you go in, it's got the little mouth in there that's going to eat you. Well, you have to find that little mouth and pull it out. That's what it reminded me of was the horror movies when I was, because it's like an opening and it's like everything is intertwined inside there. So... If you want to, if you know how to crochet, these are, you can do it. If I did it, you'll do it. But like I said, I, I ripped it out several times. I also got some comments on the certificate of deposit. <laughs> I remembered. I've called it CDs for so many years that um, you almost forget what it really is. And I did forget. Thank goodness. Um, Jim, he remembered, but he made me look like I didn't know nothing. Well, I do know something. <laughs> I know enough to get those for my kids. And um, somebody else had mentioned that they thought that was a good idea. Um, so on their birthdays, they could add to it. But uh, these, you cannot add to these. You have to um, start out with, in fact, it's so sad, because I really wanted to do bonds, because when I was graduating, you could buy a $25 bond or a $50 bond or a $100 bond, 
and bonds were getting really nothing. These were only getting a half percent as it was, and bonds were getting like zero just about. So, and with the CDs, though, you have to start out with, it's unfortunate, but a thousand dollars. That's the only way you can start it, and that's at the lowest that you can possibly go. And then hopefully you get some good interest so that it can grow. Well, now the CDs, the Certificate of Deposits, are getting a 2.55% interest. Um, so they, and even with taking the penalty, because if you cash them in before they mature, you lose out on some money that they charge you. But because it was such a low rate, and I was going to make so much more for the kids, it was well worth the few dollars that I lost because it'll catch up so fast. And um, Keto Deb, was it Deb? I think her name, uh, Deb, I don't remember. I recognize her picture. I never read her name because I know who she is. But she said that my talk about CD gave her um, a joke. And she put the joke in my comments. And I thought it was a really neat joke. And what it was is she says, what's, um, what did I say? How did I say it? Oh, gosh, I'm so bad with jokes. Something about what's the difference between a CD and a man or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that how it was? Yeah. Um, well, the CD's mature. Yeah. <laughs> I got such a chuckle out of that. And then I told my husband. <laughs> And he smiled. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> but it was it was funny, I thought. It was funny. It was good. Well, it's, I, I feel a lot livelier today. I'm so glad I finished this because now I can start another one. And um, I've been catching up on some videos. I have watched, I think, oh, I watched quite a few. Because, well, actually, I listened to quite a few. Because if you're crocheting, you can't be watching. And this, with this anyways, I can't watch. With other crocheting things, I can crochet and not even look at my work. But this, I didn't dare. But I did. I watched a lot of videos and caught up on a lot of them. Because, you know, I missed out on Friday nights, Saturday, and Sundays. I had to catch up, and I'm still catching up. I um, tried really hard to do that because I hate to fall behind. And then they'll talk about something and I go, gosh, I don't remember even hearing about that. Then I have to back up a couple more and I look and I find what they were talking about. So I'm kind of putting the horse before the cart some days, which that happens because I start with their latest and if I have time, I work my way back or I will look and see if they've got some real short ones i'll do them and then go up to the other ones because when your time is crunched you have to choose the shorter videos and which this one's getting kind of long so i think i better say goodbye so that you can you have time to watch this one so i thank you for watching and i will talk to you all again tomorrow Bye bye